What's up everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Halo LED Whole Home Air Purifier by RGF. The main difference between the Halo LED and the Remy Halo, it's use of LEDs. So you're going to get improved energy efficiency and longer product life. Instead of changing the cell in the Remy Halo every two years, you get five years of protection with the Halo LED. The Remy Halo was designed to be on all the time in order to get the maximum life out of it, whereas the Halo LED is the exact opposite. It was designed to cycle on and off in order to get the maximum life out of it. Now RGF updated their installation manual to include more options and details about wiring up different furnaces, so make sure you're using the most up-to-date version. Now out of the box, the Halo LED comes with a relay that's good for most installs. However, the air switch is simpler and works on any install, but it doesn't come in the box, so you'll have to get that separately. Now with the Halo LED needing to cycle on and off in order for it to last as long as it can, if you have a customer that insists they're going to run the fan in the on position all the time, don't install the Halo LED. Just install the Remy Halo. That's what it was designed to do, stay on all the time. But as long as the thermostat can be set to auto or circulate, you shouldn't have a problem. Now, what you've all been waiting for, I've got a furnace out in the field. I'm gonna show you how to install this Halo LED. To maximize the effectiveness of the Halo LED, it's recommended whenever possible to install in the supply plenum just after the air handler. So determine which is the supply side and identify where you have enough room to accommodate for the mounting plate. Be sure to pay attention to the airflow direction arrow. Always be sure to cut power to the furnace before starting. The Halo LED comes with a cardboard template or you can knock out the center of the mounting gasket and use that for your template. Trace the outline, then make your cut. If your plenum is insulated ductboard, a razor knife will probably get the job done. If the plenum is sheet metal, you'll need to use an appropriate metal cutting tool. To ensure a good seal, clean the surface around the opening. Peel off one side of the gasket and apply it to either the unit or the plenum. Remove the other side of the adhesive backing and insert the halo LED into the opening. Ensure the airflow arrow is pointing in the direction that the air will be flowing and then press firmly all around. In some installations, you may prefer to secure the unit with the provided screws through the holes in the mounting plate. Finally, apply the aluminum seal ring or a comparable foil tape that complies with local codes. Now, we can move on to the electrical connections. Remember, the Halo LED must be installed and wired to cycle on and off with the blower. There's different wiring configurations you can use with the relay depending on your specific installation, but RGF recommends using the air switch since it's the simplest and most universal install. Be sure to use the supplied 24 volt transformer that comes with the unit. It comes in a metal box in case you have to install it outside of the furnace enclosure. I have enough room inside this furnace to mount the transformer next to the circuit board, so I'm going to remove the transformer from the box it came in. Whatever you do, make sure your installation complies with local electrical codes. This is a standard 120 volt furnace, so we'll be using the black and white wires on the high voltage side of the transformer. If your furnace is a different voltage, adjust how you wire up the transformer accordingly. I find it easier to prepare my connections before I mount the transformer. I'm gonna trim and cap off the wires that I'm not gonna be using. I'm gonna put a quick splice spade connector on the black wire and a female spade connector on the white wire. Now I'm ready to mount the transformer. Locate the L1 terminal on the circuit board. There's probably already a black wire connected. 
Disconnect that and connect the black wire from the transformer. Then place the wire you removed onto the quick splice terminal of your connector. Locate an open terminal on the neutral L2 section of the circuit board and plug in the white wire from the transformer there. My air switch is going to be installed further away from the transformer than the provided wires will reach, so I need to run a wire from the low voltage side of the transformer to where the air switch will be installed. Since I used thermostat wire, I'm going to use the yellow and the blue conductor to keep things consistent with the color of the wires coming off the low voltage side of the transformer. Strip the conductors and wire nut them to the corresponding colors. We should be done inside the furnace cabinet, so go ahead and button that up. If you haven't mounted your air switch yet, go ahead and find a location that you like and mount it now. I usually mount mine to the return duct because there's less vibration and heat there. If the supplied power cord is long enough to reach the air switch and the halo LED, split one of the low voltage wires and put a quarter inch tap on either side. Plug each one onto one of the terminals of the air switch, doesn't matter which one connects where. If you had to lengthen the wires as I did in this install, you'll have the wires coming from the transformer and the end of the power cable feeding the halo LED in the same spot. One of the wires coming from the transformer and one of the wires feeding the unit will be wire nutted together. The other wires will be connected to the air switch, so you'll need to crimp on a quarter inch connector to each and plug them onto the air switch. Here's a diagram to show you what I did. Now you can go back and secure any loose wires and trim up any zip ties you may have left. The last thing we need to do is run the vacuum hoses from the air switch to the return and supply ductwork. The negative side of the air switch is going to go to the return and the positive side of the air switch is going to go to the supply. Once you determine where each will go, mark and drill a hole larger than the tube but not larger than the rubber grommets that were provided. If you're working with insulated duckboard, you can pop a screwdriver through and that should be pretty close to the right size. Thread about two or three inches of each tube through each grommet. Now plug the power cable into the halo LED and power the furnace back on. Adjust the thermostat so that it kicks the fan on and you can verify if the indicator light comes on. Fill out the UV caution sticker and apply it to the ductwork. And that's how you properly install a halo LED. I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, stay safe out there.